Hey, this is Nerd Sage, and this is the second video in my rundown of the four hangers. This is for the beginner Star Citizen play. Of course, experienced parents will give a rat's ass about this one, but I mean, there's tons of videos about this, but I think as a beginner, it's, from a beginner standpoint, I, I think it's I think um, it's, it's good for me to um, kind of like explore this with you. If you never, never played the game before, I'm right there with you. I'm still new at it, and I'm putting things together as I go along. So, this is the air view. This is a uh, tier up from the self land. And the air view typically comes with um, a freelancer, or uh, like maybe a freelancer, the, I think the, I think the, Core doesn't come with one, or the. Uh, well, I can't really think of all the ships offhand. Maybe, maybe a Gladius and uh, the Hornets. I think the Hornets come with this hangar. But as you know, if you've seen the last video of the Southland, looking at this hangar, you can see right off the bat there's a big difference. You know, the Southland was dark, utilitarian. Spartan uh, looked kind of junky and clunk, you know, cluttered up. But this one is more clean, brighter, uh, it has lighter colors, and it also has that ghost room. Um, all the hangers have the same room. That looks like a cassette deck, I mean, cassette tape. <laughs> just looked at this door, it is just, you know, it's just. St stood out in my mind like it's a cassette tape. I, I have an active imagination. So back here, of course, I mean, I will probably, I don't use this hanger. I use the Rebel and York hanger. But I mean, if, if I were to use this one, I would probably put my locker right here and maybe some gear or something over there, you know, just make it look like it's lived in. Um, again, this door will likely open up to a very large hanger to put the really big ships in. So, um, for now, it's, 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 it's closed off, so you can't use it. But I, I think in 3.0 or Object, object 2.0, they may open these up for you to use. Because, again, all of these hangers are modular. You can add or take away from them. Eventually, you can just add them. So here's your CNC elevator. This one takes you upstairs to the command and control. It doesn't work. Not yet. Okay, back into the main bay. You have spots for cargo here. Um, I think that's for an example, but I don't think you could. This is. See if I think you could put spaceships here too. So I don't know. I'm not sure if you could put cargo on this section. But I know you could probably put cargo down here. They have these little, have these little um, tick marks. These um, yeah, these, these item points. You probably put them down here. Um, you also have a, a place for your vehicles too, because the cell fan has them too. You can put a vehicle here. I have a gray cat. I could put that there. I, I will show that one later. But you can add a gray cat here. Also, you could also add your dragonfly black or your dragonfly yellow or the new bike the uh, the Xi'an Knox which is badass if you haven't gotten one or you don't know what it is you need to go on the website and check it out it's a badass bike um, the aero view doesn't have an awful lot of features I mean it's very nice very clean very professional looking and I, I don't know if the hangar bay doors will work. I don't know if you can literally open these up and fly a ship out. Maybe you can later. Or they just place that there for looks. I'm not sure. Here are your air pumps. Cool, huh? I actually see the air you come through. <laughs> I, I like that. That's, that's a pretty cool effect. There's the other one on that side. But yeah, here's a control panel for... 
So maybe, maybe we will be able to open these hangar bay doors and launch a spaceship through it. That is the cream of my leak cup very small. And this is like the crown and glory. This is the RSI Constellation Aquila. This is my explorer ship. I'll be able to take this out there and explore the unknown and uh, scan planets and planetoids and asteroids and it's going to come with the Ursa rover and a snub fighter but though I mean I really don't see why you would need a snub fighter I would rather have like a probe ship instead of a snub fighter to go with this but whatever it, it's, it's, it's a great it's a great ship it's a fantastic ship and that's where the snub fighter is going to go in there uh, the Ursa will have to go inside the, the cargo bay, but I'm, I'm digressing. I'm talking about this, this ship here. I'm talk, I should be talking about the hangar. So I'm going to go upstairs and show you the command and control center. Okay. I like the detail on the glass. You know how you, when you wipe glass and you kind of like don't use the white cleaner, you get that smear. See the smears on that? That's pretty cool. See that? Look at the smearing on the glass. I like the detail on that. I mean, I would fire the maid who did that, though. I mean, really, I don't want my glass looking this, this cruddy. But that's that's a really nice detail. I like that. All right. This is the second floor of the Arrow View. And look, at, see, I mean, if you compare this to the self-land, it's, it's like apples and oranges, night and day. It's so bright. It's so airy and cheerful here. And like, the, like I said, the colors are also quite cheerful. It, you know, you have a pretty good feeling when you come in here. Which I like. It's comfortable. And every time I see this thing, I'm thinking GPU. I'm thinking a GTX 980 or or a Titan. You know, I'm, every time I see that thing, I just think it's a GPU for some reason. I, again, I have an active imagination. So here is the CNC Command and Control Office. Aeroview hangers. I like this. Look at the detail there. They put a lot of detail into this game. A lot of detail. Crazy detail. Alright, let's go inside. I don't come in here often and I... Oh! 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 Whoa! Oh! Oh, snap! Hold up! Wait, wait a minute! Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Go back. I gotta see that again. It's, yeah, it, yeah, it's going down. Oh! Oh! That is sharp! Damn! Oh, hell no! I'm like, oh! See, that, that's, that's cool. You walk into the office, and then everything pops up, turns on, lights turn on, seats turn around and, and roll out and shit. And, and, and hit, ooh, that's, that's cool. That's pimped out, dude. I like that. That's nice. That, ooh, wait a minute, there's a coffee cup in here? <laughs> coffee cup. Look at that little keyboard. That's, that's interesting. All right, so from here, I, I think we have the two different kind of, oh, what's this? System. I don't know what this is for. Interesting. Huh. But I think from your command and control center, it doesn't matter which hangar, but I think, I, I think you will be able to sell off your, your your cargo like whatever cargo you find if you want to you, know, you want to sell it for profit whatever i think you'll have an interface for like um uh, some kind of a marketplace whatever where you can sell stuff uh, i think you will get a star map where which i think this is what this is that will let you hmm, let you map out your jump points or whatever and check out the specs on your ship yeah got, that's now that's cool. So you might be able to check out check out your ship specs and stuff right here, and maybe modify them. Maybe, maybe. Same thing here. I think this is like a mission control thing where you can um, edit your missions or whatever. That's nice. And maybe here you could probably just watch the news or something, check stock prices. I don't know. Okay, so and this door here, it's the same thing like in a self land. It this goes this opens up to the elevator downstairs in that back room that I showed you. And so the elevator will come up and you'll come out here out of this door. So again, 
you have little spots here where you can add items that you can buy at um, robertspaceindustries.com. That's robertspaceindustries.com. And buy your decoration. Oh, look at that. Mini GPU. Huh. Okay. So, you got more spots up here. It's like on the, on, on the, uh, in the uh, uh, self land, not, a, not as many wall spots for you to, to decorate stuff with. Here you have a little bit more, a little more space to play with. So you can put a lot of wall things. So you can put pictures up here. I don't know what else they got, but they have a lot of stuff in, a lot of stuff to decorate with. There's the second GPU. That's what I call them anyway. That's what it looks like. So it just doesn't have three floors. Not like the Revel in York. The Revel in York, that's my spot. That's my crib. I love that hangar. It has three levels. Three levels. But this one is nice for mid range. I mean, you, you really can't go wrong with this hangar. It's really nice. It's, it's really professional looking. It's clean. But it doesn't have a whole lot of space in it. I mean, you know, when it comes down to adding things. But the Revel in York does. And that, that's the one I'm going to show you next. So uh, stay tuned. And I'm going to show you the Revel in York hangar. I just love the detail in this game, and they really and look at how the light glances off of the surfaces. I, I like that. Man, I mean, kudos to uh, Cloud Imperium Games. Well, they've done a stellar job. And the thing is, they're not even. F I love that. Look at that. Look at that. This shit just pops up. That is so fucking fly. Oh my god, man, that's bad ass. <laughs> I mean, you know, CIG, that they've done such a great job on this game. And it's not even near finished yet. It's not even near finished yet. I mean, I mean, this is just a hanger. The, uh, the Persistent Universe has, like, so much more stuff going on in it. And it's not even done yet. So, okay, again, this is the Arrow View hanger. This is the second tier up from the subland. Now I'm going to log out of here and show you the Revel in York.